Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to change the bearings in your Token Ninja bottom bracket. So if you want to know just how to do the bearings on their own without replacing the entire bottom bracket, then let's run through the steps. So here we have the Token Ninja bottom bracket. This is, happens to be a BB386 Evo. So what we've done so far is just removed the crank set and then in this one, because the crank set was uh, Shimano, it's got the adapter in the middle there, or adapts it down from 30 to 24 millimeter in the middle for the axle. So obviously you need to remove those out of the way. Not all of them have those. I'm just saying this has been adapted down to uh, to accept a Shimano um, crank set. So as you can see you've got the bearings in there. Now these bottom brackets obviously they're press fit frame but the actual bottom bracket if you didn't know they got a thread in the middle of them so they wind together so the two halves there's two halves and they just wind in together in the middle so pulls it together like that and it helps eliminate creaking of the bottom bracket for instance but the actual um, bottom bracket itself is um, aluminium so the ends here are aluminium what the bearings are into so obviously you just want to change your bearings when they wear out because you don't want to have to buy a whole new um, bottom brackets they're not they're not cheap and like I said they're aluminium in here so they're not made of plastic or anything so the actual outer casing is going to last perfectly well you just want to change the bearings so I say the bearings in these, they got a 30mm hole in the centre of them. And what you'll find is with these bearings, obviously when they're new, they come with the bearings they come with out of the box, the quality of the bearings isn't very good for a start. And there's quite a small a small bearing. So they don't tend to last particularly well, especially when they get a bit of moisture in them or, or you ride in the wet for instance. They tend to, uh, like you'll see on the other side, the bearings actually seized up. This one still moves. But I'll show you the other side. So here we are on the uh, right hand side and that bearing there isn't moving. So when you spin your crank set it's not, it doesn't spin very well because this side, like I said, is seized. So what we need to do to remove them is there's various tools you can get to remove them. Um, so but I'm just going to show you why of doing it. Obviously, like I said, you can get various tools to do it with. So like I said, the hole in the middle is 30 millimeter in these. So all I've got here is this is a, um, a head set um, remover tool so for your, your um, headset so what that does is all we do is so you can see the size of the hole in the middle it's roughly it's nearly the same size it's a 28.6 mil this bit is so it goes through like that, and then when it gets to this end, obviously it goes tight. So all you do is just pull that back through, you might have to push on the uh, prongs a bit to get it to go through. Like that. And then as it, as it goes through the bearing, it will just spring back out the other side of the bearing. Like that. And that's a perfect fit with the inside of that bearing there. So all we do is get on the other end of it. Um, obviously just holding on to your frame as well and just hit that end with a with a mallet there we have the, uh, the bearing we just removed as you see there it doesn't move at all it's just stuck completely 
And as you see with these bearings that are in them, standard, there's no, there's no brand on them at all. They're just cheap bearings. So all we do now is just remove that tool out of there. And then we do the opposite side. You see there, that's where the bearing was. It's that, like I said, it's aluminium in there. So we just do the same thing on the uh, on the opposite side. See the tool like that won't go through there unless you squash that right down. So you just put it through from the other side. And then just pull that back through again. And then there it is on there. So we just hit that one back out that way. So there we have both the bearings removed. So what we do, you just wipe out there where the new ones are going to sit. And then get yourself a couple of new bearings. Two there. So I'll put the uh, size for these in the uh, video description just in case you want to know what size they are for this particular like I said, 386 Evo bottom bracket. So we go ahead and we get these installed. So before we uh, install the new bearings in the um, shell, what we'll do is put some grease around in there because obviously this is aluminium and the uh, bearings are steel. So you don't want them corroding in there. So you do that on uh, both sides. And then with your bearings, we'll see on the on the side that's going to be inside that you don't see. We we'll just put some grease over the seal on there, because that just helps keep the moisture out of the bearing itself as well. And then on the outside, we we'll just put a coat of a light smear of grease around the outside of it. Then do that on both of them. Do that on the other side as well. And again, just put a coat around the outside. And then, when you're ready to install them, obviously you need the correct size adapter for the, for a press to press them in with so you need two of those to press them in so it's not damaging the bearings when you're putting them in so we just get that rigged up and then we'll press them in So we got the bearings in there, just started. So we can uh, just gently wind those in.
So we've got them all the way in now, both sides. Just about to tool off. So that's both bearings installed. So all we we'll do now is, before you uh, fit your adapters or anything, just put some grease over the face of the bearing, both sides, like that. And then if yours, you've got the adapters, if yours are using the adapters, make sure you grease the adapter as well, so it doesn't get stuck in the centre of the bearing when you need to get it out, which makes it easier to remove. You put your adapters back and then do the same the other side, and then you're ready to refit your uh, crank set. So I hope you found the video helpful, if you did remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content, till next one ride safe and I'll see you then.